This guide is about how to install Stable Baseline with PyTorch plus Stable Ritual in order to train models on video games. It assumes you have Windows 10 or 11 updated to the latest version or you're using native Ubuntu 2204. If it's the later, you can just ignore the WSL uh, specific instructions. So let's get started. So first you can um, list the available distros for the WSL. And we're going to use uh, 2204. But if you want to use 2204 for some reason, it, it will uh, also work with the same instructions. So next, you can use the WSL command with the install argument to uh, install that distro. Shouldn't be long. So next, you just select your username and uh, password. Now let's install. Yeah, the first thing you need to do is update your repos, of course. And next, we're going to install the Python 3 packages and also Git package amongst uh, the other packages like FFmpeg. So these are the basic packages you need to for um, the setup to work. So now we can uh, install stable virtual. So first we're going to git clone the repo. You can also do pit3 install stable retro, it will work. But uh, if you plan on uh, modifying the environments or building the, uh, the, the game interrogation tool, uh, I recommend you, do, uh, you install it this way. So before installing stable retro, we're gonna install uh, the virtual NV. As you probably know, it's best practice to 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 install your environments in a in the in a virtual environment because if you have many projects in parallel with different versions of uh, of the same packages, uh, it's easier to manage. You can also use Conda. Now, once it's, uh, we created an environment called VRetro, we can activate it with uh, the source command. And then we're ready to install. Installing stable virtual takes a bit of time because it uh, it compiles all the emulators. So I sped up the, the video. Next, we're going to install stable baseline. This usually takes some time because it needs to, to download all the uh, NVIDIA um, libs with PyTorch. So now we're ready to run the examples. As you will see, it will not work directly if you're on the DLSL2. So the error is uh, because of the OpenGL. So we're gonna need to install Python 3 OpenGL. Should be quick.
So we can rerun the example again. So as you can see, there's glitches for the windows. The, the training works properly. The, your model will be trained properly. It's just the display that uh, doesn't work. So this is a WSL specific bug. And unfortunately, the, the only way to solve it is to reboot. It's quite annoying, but uh, that's the only way I found so far. So we're going to reboot and reinstall. Now we now that we are rebooted, we can um, try it and it should work. So next, uh, if you want to have custom ROMs, because this one was a public ROM included with Stable Ritual, you, you can open uh, your um, distro uh, with the Explorer. It's really simple. You just drag and drop the ROM in the, inside a folder. And you can use uh, this Python script to uh, import the ROM. So in this example is the initial 94 one-on-one -on -one, uh, Genesis ROM. And uh, the ROMs you include, it needs to have the same uh, checksum as the as in the folders of Stable Virtual. So you can check the checksum in the Stable Virtual folders. Uh, this is an example. If you want to, uh, like more advanced examples, you can uh, get clone my uh, my um, GitHub repo called Stable Virtual Scripts. So. Uh, I'm gonna run an example. If you watch my latest video, my prior video, uh, you probably recognize the this this um, this example. But it's uh, one where uh, I train AI to beat um, initial 94 one-on-one -on -one mode, and uh, also you can play against that AI. So um, this is an example. This is the same command as the the last video. So as you can see. Uh, you still need to install a further package for stable virtual scripts like the Pygame and Torch Summary. But after that, it will work. So Pygame is used to, to, um, for the display you're seeing. So that's it for the setup. Now for the GPU specific part. As you may have noticed in this uh, video, we have used a CPU device for training. That is because I have an AMD GPU. And unfortunately, Rockem is uh, still not yet supported on the WSL2. Uh, if you have native Ubuntu, uh, you will be able to use Rockem if you have a supported GPU. But I made um, a video about that a while ago. I can put the, the link down below. If you have a uh, supported NVIDIA GPU, the, these instructions will work out of the box. Uh, like uh, I tried it on my RTX 2060 Super and uh, it works quite well. Uh, you can see uh, an example of that in my previous uh, DLSL video. Uh, if you have an Intel GPU, the, the recent discrete GPU they made, uh, they made uh, one MPI uh, toolkit. Uh, I haven't tried it yet because I don't have an Intel GPU. Uh, but if you do try it, please comment down below and uh, tell us your experience. Otherwise, if you have an iGPU or, or, old, uh, or older NVIDIA GPU or unsupported AMD GPU, uh, you can use uh, PyTorch Direct ML. Uh, but this is still works in progress. The performance is uh, not so great. The last time I tried it, uh, 
that it really depends on a use case but uh, for training uh, models on video games uh, last time I tried it was uh, the performance was uh, was not so good to the point that running on CPU uh, was uh, uh, was better uh, but I but uh, I recommend you still try it uh, just in case last topic if you have VS code I highly recommend you install the WSL extension so we can uh, directly uh, uh, work and debug on your uh, OSL projects. So once you install it, you can connect your distro uh, like that. It's starting the, the subsystem now. So you can open any folder. So let's open stable virtual scripts. Now you're ready to to uh, to work on the project and debug, and you can run the you can run commands in the in the terminal directly from within the VS Code. So that's it. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.